feeling tonight? Feeling great. Like the outfit. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, I thought that, you know, like the story itself lends itself to kind of like a, a storybook kind of aesthetic. So I really like the idea of like this cookie cutter imagery with these like pastel saturated colors. I thought it really lent itself well to the story. And what made you want to pick Mr. Summons as the skipper? I mean, we were kind of like lost trying to figure out who would be, but I feel like Mr. Solomon is just like a classic, like, just a, cl a classic or, like film fest guy. So he was, he was perfect. <laughs> and Colin, did you want to add it. anything to Grace's script? Maybe change. Um, honestly, I didn't do a lot of edits. I mean, she was like, "You can do whatever you want." And I was like, "Man, I don't really feel the need to like." I do tend to micromanage, but I, I, I kind of <laughs> stepped back a little bit. I was like, "This is good." Like, and you made your film fest acting debut, Ooh, Jacob. Yes, Jacob! Grace, how did you feel about acting? Um, it was interesting. <laughs> he was out for a little bit, he was concussed, but that's okay. I'd love to see it. It was it was interesting, but I think he did a great job for it, like, being his first time acting. I was very impressed. How did you feel about that? Um, I mean, I think they worked well uh, with me and my concussion. Kind of <laughs> getting through that, uh, getting over that. All right, so gather around, you all. Uh, either side of Mr. Yeah, oh, either side. About half and half. So, <laughs> get in nice are we and good close. here? Good? All right, there we go. So, we're joined now by the cast and crew of uh, Catching the Skipper. And uh, first and foremost, uh, which of you would like to give us uh, a little bit just about sort of the the, the plot of your uh, uh, masterpiece here? Sure. Um, so it's about this girl, and she's a hall monitor, and she's haunted with this task of catching this like notorious skipper by Mr. English, and it's very serious. And so she has this like arch nemesis who is this. It's this guy who's like always skipping and they realize that they need to team up together to kind of like catch the skipper because they're kind of perfect because he's like he has like the mind of the skipper so he can like see into it and so they team up together and they like catch him yeah all right what would you say was the most challenging part of putting your film together um i would say i'm kind of a perfectionist we did a few like reshoots there was one specific scene uh, it was like a one shot uh, in the hallway, like talk and walk. And I, I'm a perfectionist. We did, um, I think, 16 takes of, <laughs> of this one, like two minute scene, and it's just one long shot. So, yeah, I think that was the hardest. That was our biggest yeah. challenge. And schedule. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with some perfectionism. You gotta get it right. So, uh, also, uh, Mr. Wilbur, I want to compliment you on the cowboy boots as well. I don't know if those are in the, uh, the shot there. Uh, as someone who has a couple pairs that I have not worn in a long time because they are wildly uncomfortable. Yeah, they, they, um, they have yeah, I made the mistake of wearing some on a flight once. Ooh. Wasn't a good idea. It was very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. So, anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic evening and uh, best of luck to you all tonight. Great. Thank you. All thank right, you. take care. So many questions. Okay, could you all squish in a bit, please? Okay. Who was the hardest person to work with on the crew? Uh, there's like two. Uh, Personality-wise, uh, from intuition-wise, Jacob. Would you like to explain? Uh, yeah, I, I was out for a bit. Um, a lot of scheduling issues. Yes, uh, tragic concussion. Yeah, concussion. Yeah. Tragic concussion. So, so yeah, we didn't want to like, permanently give him brain damage. So yeah. Well, I love your guys' team. They thought it was really good. Thank you. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you guys stand right here?